Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert. You may recall some time ago, Philip Nickel, a community member, had come up with this great track hack that worked in Pro Tools at 10 and backwards uh, in several versions, both in Mac and PC. I did a Mac uh, version of that uh, video uh, when Philip had shown us the trick before and uh, came to do it in Pro Tools 11 and it was all different and had changed. So there are some changes. So this is the version of the track hack. What we mean by track hack is that what happens is when you come in to create tracks normally, you get the basic uh, create uh, audio track orgs and those options. But what you can do with a little bit of changing around is add further stuff in. So here I've got one called audio. I have a section called audio and I've created my own master section, which now has uh, a copy of Ozone 5 and a uh, one of the Mac DSP plugins and when I create it you see here now that it start, creates a master fader with those plugins already instantiated which is nice uh, let me delete that because I don't I've already got that already on there or for example a more important one is when you come to create stuff like and we go to instruments and we go to superior drummer multi and create that and now, as you can see straight away, I have Superior Drummer with all the separate outputs instantiated. Now, you'll see sometimes it grays out the buses that it's it's all set to. So if I play it at the moment, I just play Superior Drummer. I'm just going to play a, 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 a groove. Let's just get one up there. That's just anything we'll do for, for the point of this and play that. At the moment, uh, there's no, it's not coming through because I've got it all in separate outputs. And so what I quickly need to do then is come here and just make sure that all those separate outputs that it was sent to before are then as you can see they're all set to different outputs you just come in here and then choose them and get a plug-in now the quickest way of doing this of course is if I press alt and control on those channels and I bus plug in I go to multis and go three and four as you can see now they're all coming into separate outputs which is really nice so it doesn't take hours to then set it up now you can do this for anything you can do audio channels with lots of different plugins so uh, it got broken in Pro Tools 11 uh, because uh, files have been moved to different places so now for this to work uh, you need to go to your documents folder and in your documents folder you'll see documents pro tools and you need to create a new folder called track presets and I've got one called audio and one called instruments and as you see straight away I've got different settings in there now to then save an output so that it, that, that it becomes a track preset so for example I've got boom here with a uh, a, a copy of BF76 on it. Let's say I wanted that kind of call that comp drums, comp beat or something, comp beatbox. I'd select the channel, I'd go file, I'd go export selected tracks as new session, ignore that first one, choose where I want to put it, navigate, track presets, instruments, I'm going to call that uh, beat crush. Press save. Now straight away you see it's it's gone there to call PTX. Now I need to just then go in, in Mac and just change that to PTXT. And it'll ask me what I want to do. And there it is, Beat Crush PTXT. Now when I come here now, track, new, drop down, instrument, you can have as many as you like of these. I've got Beat Crush and I've got Super Ear Drummer, so I press create. I've got a new track now. You say boom and a 76 instantiated on it and they could be as complex as you want and as you can see also you've got all these sends as well so it's great for headphone sends and stuff like that so really it's it's just limited by your imagination so you've got to go in and make sure that these aren't called pt ptx's or ptt's so i'm just going to move that one out actually i don't need that and then just create your own so thanks to philip nickel again for discovering where the uh the new stuff was so create a folder within your on a mac i'll get neil to do this for pc as well uh, your documents folder pro tools track presets there it is thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon